Building the cutlass, slashing the cane. Slashing the cane. I'm drowning in a sea of pain. Fetching the bundle on my head. Thinking of the hungry mouths to be fed. Working in the fields, bent over in toil. Extracting the sweetness from the soil. In the blazing sun, or the falling rain. Harvesting the sugar cane. be free will I always be a slave to life's poverty in my mind there is no doubt just a bit of taste in the mouth so whether it's in my coffee or in my tea probably sugar is too bitter for me too bitter for me too bitter for me Sugar is too bitter for me I feel so trapped within the walls of Cain More and more it feels I'm going insane Looks like my life is wasting away each day I hope and pray A ray of light will shine my way Too bitter for me Too bitter for me Brown sugar is too bitter for me Too bitter for me Too bitter for me Sugar is too bitter for me Too bitter for me Too bitter for me Brown sugar is too bitter for me Too bitter, too bitter, too bitter, too bitter Brown sugar is too bitter for me Balram rum done? Nah, he rum in done, but me money done. Where you going, my sons? Let the Come sit down go. with me and I'll let me talk a little bit. Eh? I hope you had a wonderful time at the rum shop and you're happy with the rum they serve you there. Every payday you coming home drunk. You can't leave the rum shop sober for once, rum. Why should I leave the rum shop sober, eh? I pay good money for that rum and I got the right to leave the rum shop happy and drunk. If I don't leave drunk, it means that Balra mixing the liquor with water. Going inside.
Rum shop, rum shop. Every payday, rum shop. Why is it that every Friday, the rum shop is the first place you have to visit? You forget that you have a wife and two sons living here? Eh, uh, woman, like you have no sense of geography. You forget that Balram rum shop is the first place I got to pass before I reach home. <laughs> After a whole week of slaving in the cane field, a man got a right to support the local rum shop and settle in his stomach with some good cane spirits. I work as hard as you in the cane fields. I leave this house with you every morning before the cock crow. But as soon as I get my pay, I go to the market, buy my groceries and come home. I don't hold looking for rum. So you want to take a drink with me now? You could have a drink with me at home, but I don't want to see you going in at Balram Rum Shop. A decent woman like you shouldn't go into any bar or rum shop, right? Don't tell me anything about damn rum. You ain't ashamed that every week your two sons gotta pick you up off the road or, or out to the rum shop and bring you home? Huh? Not you don't think that boy's embarrassed and ashamed of you? Not my two sons. They can't be ashamed of their father. The life that I live and the example I set is a motivation for them. Example? Example? You know what you're saying or is it rum in you talking? Motivation to do what? Look around you and we see, eh? It's cane and cane and more cane and sugar factory. They ain't got no library. They ain't got no big store. They ain't got no ball field. Nothing. All they got is brown skin and black skin. Men and women. Drinking rum. I am here to motivate them. Motivate them to do what? To cut more cane? Drink more rum? Is that how you intend to motivate your two loving and obedient sons? Ay 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 ay! That is what I want! With their education, they will run like the wind from this hell hole of a plantation that sucked the lives of their grandparents! They will see the bitterness of my life that was caused by the sweetness of brown sugar. This, this plantation is like a prison. <laughs> I can't run. I can't run because I have no education. I can't leave here because the city took over crowded. And I have no skills. You, th you think, you think I want my sons to inherit this life, eh? I may not be educated, but I'm not a fool. I read the newspapers, and I could read the newspaper as well. It said that the price of sugar went up. You could tell me what I mean, eh? Why don't you tell me, Mr. Drunk Man? Who spent all the money at the liquor shop while flour and rice gone up in the store? Huh? <laughs> you know how the prices of those things gone up. You's a smart woman. I didn't marry you by mistake. <laughs> the government getting more money for the sugar, but we wages going down. <laughs> Everything going up except we wages. I hear the union planning a land strike. So we better stock up good on food and watch how you're spending money in this house. You should have that conversation with yourself before you waste out your money at the rum shop. Hey. Huh? Balram is the only man that's make money when the cane cutters go on strike. He ain't no better than the managers. Balram only after the poor man money. Balram is a crook, yes. But he is doing a service to this community. I feel that. I feel that Balram Rum Shop is the only source of entertainment. Eh? We ain't got nothing else. We ain't got no library. <laughs> we, we, we got to support the man in good spirits by drinking his spirits. What else we can do in this village, eh? Mm -hmm. Make well, children in the dark? Yeah? Well, you can sit down here and praise Balram all you want. I got things to do in the house. 
and I don't cook. So when you're, when you're hungry, you can blow a whistle and the food will come flying to you. Or you could call Bal Ram, your social entertainer, to put it in a bottle for you. Chaurvi ka chandu ya Suhani rat dalju Hey! There was a time when you didn't suck cranky, your old thing, you. You used to be so nice and sweet. <laughs> I remember good, good. <laughs> I remember. <sighs> That's why we live in sin. When it happened before, Ram, uh, who else management bribe? The Bible girl, the Holy Bible. Judas, the traitor, betrayed Christ for 13 pieces of silver. You know that? And Badre sell out the struggle for a bottle of rum. I hope he choke and dead on that rum. <laughs> exactly. Look, look, look. Look, management coming this week. You are the leader of this group. He is not the leader. Badger is the union leader, as you well know. He is just a simple worker. 
a simple worker who's standing here withholding his labor from exploitation. Workers should not be standing idly about. All your co-workers are back in the field. Go and cut the cane immediately. Right now I get in pain next to nothing. If I obey you and work under the new conditions, I can get absolutely nothing. So I prefer to withhold my labor against exploitation and to keep in the hunger pains in my stomach. Look, settle with problems quickly, eh, boss? Empty paper bags don't stand up. Me belly day empty, empty. You talking about you got cane for cut? And today we will prove that empty paper bags will stand up for what is right. We are not slaves or indentured servants anymore. You have to respect me right. What more do you all want, eh? We give you a raise already. Your union leader did not explain to you what 2% means? Well, I am going to explain it to you. And I hope you understand it clearly. Like your co-worker and comrade, Badri, who sensibly called off the strike. 2% means on every dollar, you will get 2 cents more. You can't get a better deal than that. <laughs> yes, sir, manager. We understand was a 2% increase. But if I give that increase to a beggar, he would never come back to me, door. Your 2% is an insult. And that rum bribe you give Badri was more than 10%. Now we would consider that and then save the crop. This is a time of crisis. Everybody gotta work hard and survive unless. This is the time to tighten your belts. Like management don't wear belt. If I tighten my belt any further, I would cut my backbone. Look, I have no more time to argue. Go and cut the cane, you lazy cane cutter. He calling me lazy. He never walk a cane bed in his life, and he calling me lazy. Mr. Manager, I cut in cane since I was 14. Rain or shine, I in the cane fields. Manager without a belt to tighten. You ever get up before six in the morning? At six he said in the bottom in the air. When I get up is none of your business. My job is to manage your lazy cane cutters. Again, we's not lazy, sir. I know these cane fields inch by inch. I know every weed, every worm, and every rat around here. Mm. But you don't know he though. Because he's not no rat. No, he's not a rat. He's a vampire who's sucking me blood. He calling me lazy. But look over there now. He got vehicle and driver. That is not he vehicle. That is we vehicle. We the workers swept up by that vehicle so that he could drive around like King George. You mean for tell me man and just so lazy that he can't even drive himself? I'm sure he got a lot of servants in your house. King George so lazy, he probably got a man servant for his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Show management some respect, Ram. Enough, enough. I can have all of you arrested. Arrested for saying man servant doing the work for your wife? Arrested for being here. You have no right to be here if you're not working. So why we can't they? Because he won't bring back the colonial laws that we grandparents lived under and fought against. Laws that said that a coolie should only be in the fields, in the hospital, or at home sick. Manager, we are not bound coolies and slaves anymore. We are a free people. Yes. 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 This is not a public area. This is estate property. And only workers are allowed here. And you are not working. So, go before I call the police. Uh, we there asking for we rights and you saying what you can call police? We, we, we the justice there in this place, man. Either go to the fields or go home. Or I will call the police who will have the right to set their dogs on you.
Today you would have been a high school graduate if you didn't mind us on time to pay the school fees for your high school exams. But Ma, that's history. You know we didn't have money to pay for the exams last year. That was not your concern. That was a matter for your father and me to resolve. The same way we paid for Arjun's exam, the same way we would have paid for yours. But Ma, the estate was on strike for three months last year. You and Pa didn't get paid. Then the rains came and destroyed the crops in the garden. We barely had food to eat. So how do you expect me to burden you with the exam money when everyone here was starving? Yes, why? You're right. My jewelry was already with money lender, so I couldn't even pawn it again. And your father didn't make anything easy by rubbing up a big rum debt. I wonder where he is this morning. I sent him to pawn the jewelry and he didn't come back yet. I hope he didn't stop by at Balram Rum Shop and spend out Arjun exam money. Last year we faced a lot of disaster. But that is the life of a cane cutter. Raj, I'm so sorry we couldn't give you the money last year so that you could get a break in life and leave this plantation for good. But it's not too late, ma. He could still write the exam even though he left the school. I got other plans, boy. I am learning to become a good mechanic and soon I am leaving for America. America? But we don't know anybody there. And don't you need to get a visa to go there? I hear Azad wife say that it costs thousands American dollars to get a visa. My jewel ain't worth thousands of dollars. And we can't sell this old house. We can't go and live in the cane fields. Maha, you don't have to buy a visa. Look, if you graduate from a local university, you could get a visa to study in America. That's why I plan for do. I don't have to get visa to go to America. I got important connections to the man at the top. I got more than ropes to get my visa. I got wire ropes to the man at the top. Who you know? Money lender data? I actually plan to get a visa too. <laughs> hey, listen fool, listen. I know the man that stamp your passport and give you the visa to go to America. He and my boss are friends. I worked on the man car many times. He said I'd make a fortune with my skill if I go to America. So, I go in and get my visa stamp. Well, Raj, you should talk to your friend about, about your brother too. See if he take both of you out of this plantation before poverty take over his soul. What have you been doing so long, huh? Don't tell me you went drinking this morning. Sounds like you got a party here early this morning. And what you always accusing me of drinking rum anytime I leave this house, eh? You want to find a job where they're going to pay me for drink rum? You would never take money to do that. You would drink the rum for free and remain penniless. I've been and check out the garden. Water cover up the whole place, all the greens and everything. Just we luck. One disaster after the other. You get the money from money lender? Yeah, I get the money. But you raised the interest 12%. You said because of the rains, you had to raise the interest. We got till year end for retrieve the jewelry. Uh, what are we gonna do? Every year I got to pawn the jewelry two to three times to overcome one disaster to another. That money lender hold my jewelry in his hand more than I wear it on my body. He know that jewelry so well that one day he might even claim it for you. Nah, uh, don't worry, ma. I will help to pay for it to take it out before the year. Nah, let like, stay with it. If we take it out before, I bet you some disaster gonna strike us like lightning, and we gonna have to return it to him. Anyway, soon we won't be needing the gold. Ma, you don't want back your gold? For we Indians. Goal is to carry you through hard times and for your children education. I feel things changing for me. When I be working in the cane fields in the cold rain, I just always look up in the skies at the dark clouds. And anytime I see an opening with the sunlight shining through, I feel in a happiness has come over me. I feel in that happiness right now. I don't need gold. All the gold that I ever need, I have it in my two sons. Once Arjun passed the exam and Raj gone to America, I don't need to pan gold anymore. Raj going to America? What? On a planting boat or a sugar boat? He know the American white man who does stamp the visa in your passport. The man himself asked if he wants a visa. So when you're going by, we got to have a farewell that we got that already. I'm not ready yet, pa. When I'm ready, I will ask him. Wait, 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 bye. He's a politician? You got for wait? When somebody offer you something, you must hold out your hand the first time and say yes, yes, yes. Because there would never be a second chance. God don't give we a second chance to leave this plantation. 
Don't worry, pa. When I'm ready, I will get it. I learned from experience that when somebody offer you something the first time, you better say yes because there won't be a second chance. You imagine if you went to Balram Rum Shop, somebody would offer you a free drink twice, eh? You better say yes the first time or else you would remain toasty for the rest of the day. All you experience on this plantation connected to rum. Isn't that what we existing for, eh? Plant the cane, cut the cane, make the sugar, drink the rum. Okay, no more rum talk in this house. Now that you come back, come and help me cook. Put on the dal while I put on the rice. And you two go to the back dam and look after the cow. The garden flood out, but we can still hold on to the cow for some milk. Yeah, ma. Yeah. How long more we got to stand here, Pa? You will stand there until I finish reading this paper, bye. But you don't read the paper ten times already, Pa. And he could read it a million times if he want. You read this paper, bye? Yes, Pa. Ain't I who buy the papers? You read the headline that splash across the whole important front page, by? Yes, Pa. It says Arjun top the country. You didn't read it properly. You didn't see what the whole country see. It says here, son of Cain Cutter tops the whole country. It should have really say your name, Ram. It only said that you's a Cain Cutter. And they didn't even mention me name. My name, Ram Gulam Popatlal, is not important to anybody. The only name that is important is Arjun Popatlal, who happens to be the son of a Cain Cutter. Happens to be the son of a Cain Cutter. How many times they mention my son named Leela? Let the boys go. They gotta go cut grass to the cow. Cow and grass could go to rass today. We got important things to do now. When last we had a celebration in this house, Leela? When we first cow give calf. And the calf dead soon after. I don't mean that. I mean when last we had a celebration about we self in this house. When the boys born. We had nine day celebrations and you drink a lot of rum. That is right. And we're going to celebrate again today. We're going to drink rum today. Not the two of you though. The two of you will never drink rum in front of your father. You will drink sweet drinks. Leela, today we will celebrate the success of our son Arjun Popatlal who has stopped the whole country in the British exam. Send the bikes for rum. When I drink in the rum shop, I just drink the drunk my sorrow. But today when I drink, it will be to celebrate a great event, Leela. A great event. <laughs> I know how you feel, Pa. That's why I got you a bottle. <laughs> Leela, you see? <laughs> my son know me like how I know the rose in the cane fields. <laughs> Don't sit down there like a statue, Arjun. Go get two glasses and, a, and the chaser. Forget about the chaser, just bring the glasses, we can go straight. You got to take a drink with me today, Leela. No, Dad. My nana used to tell my nani ten drops. Like medicine. And how much drops for you, Ram? About twelve and a half. <laughs> that is a big drink you pour yourself, Ram. You shouldn't get drunk on this day. This is a big drink for a big occasion. And like the important people, I want to make a toast to my son Arjun Popatlal. Cheers. <clears throat> From where to where they said that the children write the exam, Leela? From the tip of the Pamaroon to the coast of Barbies. Another toast to Arjun Popatlal, who beat all the children from Pamaroon to Barbies. The son of a cane cutter has left the cane field to enter the University of Learning. Cheers. This is Balram rum? Yes, Pa. It's good rum. You didn't mix this with water. Now we're going to drink to all the people who are not celebrating today. Look at the paper. Arjun, you see the money lender name? No, Pa. You see Balram name? No, Pa. 
and their children write the exam with you, eh? Well, we can take a drink because they're not drinking today. The manager's son write the exam too. Oh, I'm glad you tell me because we have to drink the he too. You see any politician or minister the government name? No, pa. It's only I top the country. You're gonna drink to all them people, Ram? It's only one bottle of rum you got. Well, this drink is for all the poor people who kick rich people ras. You intend to drink all that whole bottle of rum today? Look how them people on the street staring at you. They can look all they want, but they're not coming into my yard. This is a personal celebration for me and my family. Hey, Jadu Bans, Tiwari. Hey, Smithy, Marcus. <laughs> This is a happy day for me, boy. You're not inviting them in here, you know. I'm not going to invite them here today. Look, more people looking. What do you think? This is a circus? Look, we are going, boys. Come, sit down here. Today, we got a show that poor people could celebrate success to. This here is a toast to all the poor people who kick rich people ras. That's enough toast for today. This is not a circus for the village people. The celebration is not over yet, girl. Now the scholar got to respond to my toast. Arjun, now it's time for you to say your peace, boy. Azad, go tell Balram that you give you a bottle of rum and you all celebrate, but keep some for me. I come in there just now. You go in and drink more rum? We can't be selfish. Arjun belongs to this village and we got to celebrate with the, with the cane cutters. Arjun, bring me shoes. We you want your shoes for? You going to tongue? I must go to the rum shop looking respectable like the father of a scholar. Arjun, bring my suit jacket and my felt hat too. And Raj, I want you to catch the biggest chicken in this yard. Leela, you got to prepare a feast tonight, the chicken curry and dal puri. Opa. Don't do anything stupid and buy rum for Tom, Dick and Harry. When they see me dressed like this, they will offer to buy me a drink. Come Arjun. Let me go. We got to show them what a scholar look like. I got to go with you, Pa. How you expect me 
to get respect and dignity if they can't see the scholar who they celebrate into. Eh? Come, let me show them what a scholar look like. You better walk here to the rum shop, Arjun. And tell, and tell, make sure you tell Balram just to credit him one bottle of rum. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Ram, celebration started already, buddy, but the bottle almost done. What? What kind of rum is this, man? I pay for rum, not water. Hey, but Ram, we ain't celebrating this by here with water, you know. Hey, we don't want no rum, Ram. But Ram got whiskey in the shop, they let me drink the ah, yeah, 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 yeah. whiskey. Is it. Why I should buy whiskey for you, eh? You got to be British educated if you want to drink American whiskey. You educated, Ram? I ain't educated. But my son here write the British exam and he educated. Hey, Balram, come out from behind your money box and bring a sealed bottle of rum and a sweet drink to this boy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look, Ram. This is definitely good rum. No rum is too expensive for my Sunday scholar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is me best rum, Ram. This rum is a gift from me. Balram, I always say that you is the best social director in this village. All right, we're going to take a drink to celebrate my son Arjun topping the British exam in the entire country. Yeah. 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 Bottoms up. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Ah, that's good. <laughs> you son write the exam, Balram? No, Ram. He was very sick on exam day. The doctor said he had high stress from studying too much. Well, tell him to write the exam next year. Then we can drink your whiskey to celebrate him. Are you reading newspaper? Newspaper? <laughs> you know they're too hard for me to read. I just read pictures. <laughs> <laughs> well, the scholar here will read for y'all because he is British, educated and examined. <laughs> read it for them, boys. What, Dad? I read it a million times already. And you're going to read it a million and one times because I is the father and you is the son. And the son will do what the father wants. <laughs> Go on. Read it, boy. Son of King Cutter, Tops Country. Son! That is enough reading. You hear that? It says Son of King Cutter, Tops the Country. It didn't say Son of Rice Miller or Son of Rum Shop Owner. Son of a King Cutter. And all of we is King Cutters. So we're gonna take a drink to celebrate this by again as King Cutters. Drink your sweet drink, Arjun. Gosh, my ram. Let the boy enjoy his celebration, man. They take a shot with we. He don't know any rum shop. He can't drink milk and marby. That is why you can't read or write. Because you parents give you rum to drink in the cane fields instead of goat milk and cow milk. My son will never drink rum in this rum shop. This rum shop is for cane cutters. Who only have came cutting as a future? My son took his education and he is gonna leave this cane fields and become the man we could only dream to be. Arjun, today every cane cutter in this country claim you as a son. So you take the book learning and you run from these fields. You show the world that we cane cutters can produce sweet children from these bitter fields. Arjun, you will always be the proud son of a cane cutter. And in front of all these people here today, I hope and pray that I will never ever be the father of a cane cutter. Go home, Arjun. Go help your mother and your brother at home. And leave this celebration for we. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Balram! This is not a wake, man. Play the music. This is a celebration for all cane cutters. 
the president should make tomorrow a national holiday because I would be too sick to go to work. <laughs> Yeah! Play the music! ambition by you always drunk and dreaming in the people room shop eh
Morning, Leela. Morning, Ram. Morning, Money Lender. Good morning, Money Lender. I'm glad you could come today. We have some business to discuss with you. Well, I got some serious business to discuss with you, too. Look, here is my jewelry. We want a better price for them. Lena, I don't need to see the jewel. Every year, two, three times a year, you just put it right in my hand. I know the details of that gold more than the man who make it. And what good price are you talking about, eh? I just always give you a good price. Nobody in this village could say I don't give them good price when they pawn the gold. Yeah, but we don't want to pawn it. We want to sell it. We want to give you the first chance to buy it, seeing as to how you know this gold more than anybody. Buy them? <laughs> Lila, I'm a money lender, a money smith. I ain't a goldsmith. I don't buy gold. But it's good gold money lender. It made out of 24 karat Indian gold. It come directly from India. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. I can help you by taking this gold. But the price money lender, we want a better price. I definitely would suffer a loss if I buy your gold. As I tell you, I ain't a goldsmith. I'm a poor money lender. And I would rob myself if I offer you a price. Ram, you better jump on that bicycle and visit the goldsmith in the other village. He does value from coal to gold and he does give you the best prices. Um, why you want to go ride by the hot son? You want to get your son struck? Look, leave that goldsmith out of we village people business. Let me keep your business right here. No, you would understand money lender. But we want the payment in US dollars. Lila. I am the village money lender, not the central bank governor. The only currency I know is Guyana money. I ain't printing Smith for make US dollars. Ram, you better jump on that bicycle and go and visit the goldsmith. I hear he does ask you if you prefer British currency or American dollars. Leave that blasted goldsmith and bicycle alone. <laughs> I can pay you in US dollars. Good. Take the gold and give me $300. Where the rest of the gold? You only got four pieces, eh? That is all the gold I got. That must be worth more than $500. Well, Ram, you better jump on your bicycle and go to that goldsmith. He got to be blind and stupid for offer you $300 for your gold. Money lender, wait, don't go. How much you think it's worth? Remember, we ain't planning it anymore. All this gold is going to be yours. Leela, you ain't selling all the gold in Guyana? I can... I can offer you $200. Only $200? Man, you sound like the estate manager bargaining for we labor. Well, if you think you could get a better price, jump on your bicycle and get a sunstroke. Brother Money, take the gold and give me $300. We really need the money now. How do you say this is all the gold you got, eh? Take off them earrings and I can offer you $250. But these earrings is the only piece of jewelry you got left. Take it or leave it. 250 is all I can offer. All right. It's only a piece of gold that I had on my ear since I was a little girl. Don't worry. I will buy you a better pair of earring one day, ma. I got a little business to transact with you too, money lender. I hear you got a lot of cows. I got 12 head milking cows. How about one more to make it 13? I got a proper milking cow to sell you. Ram, Ram, you want to take advantage of me today? From gold to cow? Hmm. I ain't agriculture smith. I don't know about cow. All I know is lending a little money here and there so I can make a living. Well, uh, better jump on this bicycle and go down to Butcher Harvey Bola. I hear he does buy anything that have four feet. <laughs> uh, leave Happy Bola out of this. He's a sickly man. No recovering from a heart attack. Take the gold to my yard and I can send the money. Now that you're all done, it's time for me to do me piece of business. Ram, Leela, I know you all long. Respect is me middle name. I respect everybody in this village. But it got some people here who don't respect me. This by here. The same by here. I see with my own eyes, he blowing whistle at my daughter when he passed by my yard. And I hear he troubling she when she catching car in the park. That is scandalous behavior, and you must put a stop into it. Raj, you did that? Huh? 
You disrespect this man by blowing whistle past the house? I didn't do anything disrespectful, ma. I know the girl from school. I just talked to she while we catching care for come home. So why are you blowing whistle when you pass me house? You think I got calling board in my house? All right, moneylender. All right. I will talk to him and this won't happen again. You all got my children. But when you got girl children, you got to be extra careful. They must have clean names and reputation. And innocent talk could cause scandal. I don't want me that involved in that. And furthermore, the girl got ambition. Right now she waiting for her paper for go to Canada so she could get out of this place. I wish you the best of luck. One by one, all we children would be leaving this place. Where are you getting the visa from? That thing hard to get. You had to have connections. And I have the connections. That is why I have to maintain a good name in this village. Look, send the things and I'll get your money. Damn traitor. He got connections. He got a bribe from priest to papa, but Raj get the visa because he honest and trustworthy. Don't worry with Chiba, he daughter ain't got class to have you. If you had a daughter, you wouldn't like a boy to whistle past the gate. He ain't objecting to the whistle. He ain't like the whistler because the father is a cane cutter. He ain't want his daughter talking to a cane cutter son, but if it was a rich man, you think he would have complained? He would have already gone to Pandit making wedding plans. Don't worry with Chiba, you going to America, you gonna find better woman than she. You didn't have to sell the copper. Bye. You can't have ticket and passport alone to go to America. The money from this cow is going to buy a suit and tie for you to walk in the white man country. Ram, I want you to go to the pasture and catch that cow now. Take it to money lender and collect the money. I won't be able to sleep until I see the money to buy my son plane ticket to America. Come by, give me the bicycle. Girl, you gave me this gift Show me love and what I missed You drive me crazy with your smile Loving you makes life worthwhile Do we marry Zindagi? Do we marry Bloody?
she's the one. Koi jab na an paaye, mere sang aaye, to pag pag deep jalaaye. मेरे दोस्ती मेरा प्यार मेरे दोस्ती मेरा प्यार Why you come home now, Mr. Drunky? But rap shop still got rap. You should have stayed, but the other rap bottle. Look how when you just singing and dancing in the rap shop, look how they brutalize the son in the village. What wrong with you, boy? Why your head bandage up so like an Egyptian mummy? Eh? The boy could have dead in Moneylander yard while you that drunk in it wrong. <laughs> Look what Moneylander people do to me, son. <laughs> Look how they pass up your head. <laughs> Look what they... Look what they blow so to me back, eh? <laughs> what Moneylander think, man? That me son is an animal to vocalize me like this, eh? <laughs> no. My son got more injuries than a soldier in war. <laughs> Why money lender do this to you, boy? Eh? Is he that who caused this to happen? Eh? He was only talking to money lender that when he tell he walk us to beat the boy. Look how that boss he had like a dry coke. Man. <laughs> money lender can't get away with this. I can chop you into pieces with his cutlass. He better have good connections because he will need connections to stitch you up when I done chopping it. Where you going with that cutlass, Rob? But the dog, you know, man, he got the whole police station in he in he hand. Yeah, and I gonna I got a sharp cutlass to separate the lungs from the heart. You know, let me go, woman. Let me go. You need need judge and jury in this country for justice. All you need is a sharp cutlass, and I got it right here for your money lending skin. Let me go, woman. Let me go. Pa, pa, give me the cutlass. Pa, leave money lender alone. His day will come. He day come. Today is a lucky day because he got holy head in his hand and celebrate his death day. Don't be stupid, Ram. Don't be stupid, Ram. Ram's getting ticket to go to America today. Don't make no more worries for him. Let him go. Let him leave this village in peace. You're right. Lee, get away from money lender, daughter. What wrong with you, boy? You didn't listen to me, eh? What a girl got that no other woman ain't got, eh? She body covered in gold and diamonds, eh? You're going to America. You could take a white woman if you want, but left money lender, daughter. <laughs> That money lender day will come. Lord, let me live long enough to see that money lender crawl on his belly to me and ask for forgiveness. Lord, I know I shouldn't ask for anything bad for anybody. But after what that money lender do to me, son, today, I want to see punished and ask me for forgiveness. That's all you're going to ask for, eh? You think God got time to waste on a little thing like forgiveness? Eh? Why you don't ask him for a solution to the problem? Ask him to let money lender I fall out. Ask him to blind money lender so he can't see his precious, ambitious daughter face again. Isn't that asking for sin, Ralph? That is not sin. That is God's justice. Let money lender ask God for let money lender fall on that truck and broke up his other foot. Let me paralyze for life. <laughs> God's in everything. He will know what to do. I hope he's seen these scars and this buyback. God, why? Money lender like he wanted to change you into a zebra with all these marks on your back. It's, Lila, it's not too late for poor man justice. Give me the cutlass. Money lender take away we cow and we go. Now we want to take my son life. Yeah. Give me the cutlass, Leela. Forget the damn cutlass, Ram. That is your cane cutter cutlass that got me living like this. I'm going to call the panda tomorrow to come and bless this boy. We must have a little poacher before we go to America. You should also, you should also call the Obia, Obia man and ask him to put something on money lender. 
Ask you to put some tea in money lender yard so that his skin busts out with leprosy. <laughs> Go in the house drunk, man. I should have asked you to give me something to put in you drink so that you get diarrhea every time you have such a rum bottle. Money lender better don't let catchy because I would eat you out from myself. Ouch. I'm 
This puja was done to seek the blessings of Lord Sri Ganesh as you embark on your long journey to America. This puja was also done to give you guidance as you go to a strange land. As you are about to leave your family and village, you should remember that Lord Rama had also embarked on a long journey to exile. I want you to think of your journey also as an exile, the same way Lord Rama did. And in your exile, you will face many demons. Eh, hey, Pandit? You mean you'll meet up with money lending America again? You will meet people who will show you a good face and then take advantage of your innocence. He already had that experience here. Money lender with the two face take where we cow and gold and pay we next to nothing. Let the pandit preach, Ram. That is why we're paying him. And not to mention the trickery and deceit of the American woman who will prey upon your emotions to torture you. When that happens, son, I want you to close your eyes and reflect on the purity of the village girls. Then. It's the purity of the village girls that make the moneylender almost half kill you for talking to your daughter last week. Lord Krishna used to play flute and tease the village girls, but nobody never beat you. Nobody! Me son only whistle in front of moneylender daughter and he almost lose his life. This man, money lender, is a real devil. Ram, Ram, I must let you know that money lender is my own relative. He and my wife, they first cousin. So be very careful what you're saying here today. I'm sorry to hear that he related to you, Pandit, but money lender never beat you. He beat me, son, here. And that's why we're trying to get you out of this village as soon as possible. After dealing with money lender and Idata, my son is fully qualified to face all the demons in America. True, he never beat me. But if you want to know the truth, you know how many times I wanted to drag money lender out of the house and give you a good cut ass. The only thing stopping me is these garments. I don't want to fight in these religious clothes, but it's only when I wear these clothes that this man does aggravate me, argue with me, and get me fix, fix. One good day, I'm gonna ask God for special forgiveness, and then I'm gonna tend to eat good and proper. You finished blessing the bike handed? You got more puja to do? Nah, Lila. All the religious work done, and I done bless the bike sufficiently. But, uh, you know, if you want, I can go with Aliu to the airport and bless the bay and the plane. Thank you, Pandit. We don't have any family in America, and he not taking a lot of money, so all the prayers and blessings he could get would be better for him. But, you know, if I go to the airport, you have to hire a special car for me. You know. I don't like to crowd up with other people in higher care. You got to pay me by the hour for traveling and for waiting. You don't have to go, Pandit. You don't bless the boy enough. We can say all the prayers for Raj. It's not Lord Rama going to Lanka. It's just we son Raj going to America. Well, Raj, bye. It's time for you get blessings from your parents. Then. And, and, and Raj, when you get to America, I want you to send an electric razor for me. But I just cut up my face bad when I shave all in the morning. Okay, Pandit, okay, I will remember. I know, I know you're not going to forget, son. But that is why, that is why I walk with a picture from a magazine. Hey, let me show you. You see this? 
I want you to send the same one for me. You see? Watch it, watch it good, you know. <laughs> I won't forget that. I know. You can get it to buy all over America. <laughs> good, buddy. I know you could do it for me. Right? Good. Om Jai Ganesh. You want some tea, Leela? What was the doctor discussing with you, Ram? Ah, he wasn't discussing anything. It was just farming conversation. Why would the doctor form a conversation with a drunken cane cutter? What did the doctor say, Arjun? The doctor was discussing your condition, ma'am. What about my condition? The cataract come back? It's not cataract, ma'am. He said something called glaucoma. It is caused by diabetes and pressure in your eye. He said the glaucoma could lead to... Lead to... Shadows. Yeah, shadows. He said that your eye problems could make you see shadows. You take me for a fart, Ram. Shadows? I seen a shadow over there and it looked like a big bottle of rum to me. Son, what did the doctor say? He said a glaucoma could lead, lead to blindness. Blindness? No more light? Since I started having problem with my eyes, I've been trying to remember everything that happened in my life. <laughs> my memories are bright with the sun. Arjun, I can still see you and your brother playing in the canal under the bright sunshine. I can see your father heading on to the cane fields in the bright early morning light. But you know what is the brightest memory I have of all? Hmm? What, Ma? Last year, when you graduated from the University of Guyana, I can see you on the stage receiving your diploma with the sunshine splashing over your shoulder falling like a waterfall of light arjun the graduate son of ram and lena now one year after i can barely see your face It's not the end, Leela. It's just a different kind of sickness. Everyone has to deal with one kind of sickness or another. Well, I wish this sickness would stay away for a while. I wish I could see my son Raj face one more time. Oh, I miss my son. I miss my son. <laughs> Raj can't come back yet, Ma. He's still waiting for his papers. <laughs> He's still illegal in America. You say the word illegal like he committed a crime. But America is just one big prison for him. He can't leave because he's illegal. Did you write and tell him anything about my sickness, Arjun? I only mentioned that you had to do an operation for cataract. Well, don't tell him what the doctors say. But we got to tell him, Leela. He would want to know. That boy all alone in America with the illegal problem. Don't put no more problem on him here. Arjun, don't mention anything to Raj. You need more space to move around comfortably. So where you planning to put me? In the cane fields? Ma, Raj wants you to have a new house. He said in the morning to build a new house. Tell that boy not to send any money. The postman just opened the envelope and take out all the US dollars. You remember last Christmas? 
the postman wrapped the envelope and just delivered the card. He said that Balram will give us the money to build a new house. Balram giving us money? <laughs> if Balram was to give us all the money your father spent in the rum shop, we would be living in a palace by now. You make it sound like if I just drink like a fish. I never see a drunk fish, but I've seen a drunken cane cutter though. <laughs> if I wasn't losing my sight, you would have never stopped going to Balram rum shop. How come Balram giving me the money though? Baram has a son in America. Raj will give him the money and Baram will pay us in Guyana dollar at the black market rate. I already discussed the, the plans with the builder. We'll have to move from here soon so he can start the work. Why we have to move from here though? Why can't we stay here? Raj wants to build a new two-story house for you. He said we can tear down this old house. And then where are we going to live? In the cane fields? No ma. We could rent a place in the village till they finish. The builder say it won't take more than six months to finish, ma. All you got to do is get the materials on time. Look, I will talk to you more about it tonight. I have to go meet him now to discuss the plans. Okay. You want something to eat now, Leela? No, Ram. You go and look after the cow in the garden before it gets too late. When you come back, we will have dinner. Take away the sight. <laughs> I serve you faithfully since I was a little child. I bring up my boys right. Me and Ram live a decent life. Why you take away my sight? <laughs> to take away my sight. Please don't let his mother go to your grave without holding your son close one more time. <laughs> Jai Krishna Hari Siri Krishna Hare Dukhi Yoko And this is your host Leela. This is the house that Raj built for you. <laughs> we should call it Leela Mahal. <laughs> and it even got a veranda. It got a veranda? Arjun, what can you see from the veranda? Ma, you can see the village road and the cane fields. I used to love to watch the cane fields from the old house. When the wind blows, the cane leaves us look like waves in an ocean. Ma, Rat sent something for you. He said to give it to you the first time you enter this house. What is it, Arjun? What Rat sent again for me? What is this, Ram? It feel like some kind of an earring. This is not regular earring. This is diamond earring. <laughs> My son sent diamond earring for me? Yeah. Help me put it on Ram. <laughs> when money lender take away my old gold earrings, Raj promised me that he will buy better earrings for me one day. And now your son sent you diamond instead of gold. And you got your own veranda with your private view of the cane fields. Yes, Ram. But now I can't see the cane field. And I can't see the earring. God knows best, Leela. He gave you two good sons. I'm not complaining, Ram. God, thank you for giving me such good sons. Ma, somebody wants to come and discuss wedding plans with you. I plan to get married. And a woman in this house would help you out too. Arjun, I can still take care of myself. But I would love to have a daughter-in-law in this house. I am so happy for you. Who's this girl? She come from this village? She's Moneylender's daughter. He wants to come here and meet you. Moneylender daughter? You couldn't find nobody else to like but Moneylender daughter? After all what he did to your brother, you still gonna go and love Moneylender daughter? Eh? 
What happened to you, Arjun? They ain't got better girls in this country. Ram, you can't blame the girl for what your father did. She's innocent. My son was innocent too. He didn't commit a crime to be beaten like a criminal. Every day I chop in cane in the cane fields, I'd just only be thinking about that crook. Every chop I make, I imagine that I chop in it from his foot up. But one day, one day money lender can taste your own medicine. Arjun, money lender agreed to this? Yes, ma. But he has no say in the matter. Renu's a nurse in the estate. She returned from Canada a few months ago. And she'll be able to take care of you, Ma. This is the same girl that Raj was involved with? No, Pa. There's the older daughter, Sarita. She didn't get you to go to Canada. But she's living in America right now. Good. I hope she's illegal too. Well, Leela, it look like... Look like if you get part of your wish. You went down on your knees and you beg God that money lender should come and beg you for something. Well... Look like he can be coming soon to beg you for your son's hand in marriage to your daughter. Ram, you remember when you wanted me to ask God to blind money lender? Now the table's torn and I'm the one who lost my sight. Let's put everything in God's hand and just be happy for Arjun. You're right, Leela. You're right. Ram? Leela? Yes, Moneylender, morning. <laughs> morning, Leela. Morning, Ram. Morning. Arjun, say you wanted to talk to us about your daughter? <laughs> yes, Leela. I just tell people that this is the most decent and respectable family in the village. I just insist that you got ambitious and quality sons. Then how come you beat Raj like an animal? <laughs> I'm really sorry about that, Ram. But that was a long time ago when I was ignorant. Now, now I'm a changed man. A lot of village water pass under the bridge. How oh, you change? You get more ignorant? <laughs> ram, Ram. You got sons. I got daughters. When a man got daughters, it's not an easy thing, boy. A father, a father got to make decisions. And sometimes, sometimes he just make the wrong decisions. Your wrong decision hurt my big son. And today you stand in his house with your hat in your hand and said that you're interested in my other son? Leela, how else I could tell you that I'm really sorry for what happened to Raj? I was a father blinded by rage. And I wanted to put it in the past. Let's look to the future. My daughter wants to marry your son. And I can't stop her. She's a modern and intelligent girl. But I've given my wholehearted consent because, because he's a respectable engineer in the village. And Raj was a very young boy who was not an engineer. He couldn't get your consent, but you get blows from your workers. I, I made a mistake as a father of a young daughter. But today, today in Indian tradition, I come asking for your son hand for my daughter. Well, you come on your ass. Now you can go. We'll discuss it and let you know. Discuss it? What is there to discuss? You know me. Nobody in this village ain't got more influence and property than me. Leela, Leela, don't you think Arjun and Reno is a good match? I said we got to discuss it with the family. Raj got to give his consent to. What Raj got to do with this? Arjun like the girl, and the girl like Arjun. Isn't that right, Arjun? This is Raj's business too. We got to know if he would want his brother to marry the daughter of the man who brutalized you like an animal because he was just a cane cutter son and not an engineer. If he said no, you will have to find another son-in-law. What? What am I going to tell my daughter? I promise her that today, I would fix her wedding date. And now? Now you tell me you gotta discuss it with Raj? That's how we do it in his family. We discuss important matters like love. We don't beat people. 
Siddhartha got the wheat. Ram, Ram. Leela, Leela, today I ask for your forgiveness for treating your son. Today, today I ask for my daughter's happiness. I'm asking for your son's hand for my daughter. Don't, don't let me go away like this. Punish me. But don't punish my daughter for my sins. Ram, if Arjun like the girl, we can't say no. We only want his happiness. Even Raj would agree. Monilenda, my children and my husband, they are too good to bear malice. Today, we will bury the past for Arjun's sake and we will set a wedding date. Well, money lender, today you get another good deal from this family. Today you're getting an engineer with a lot of government influence to join your family. Every Saturday day for the wedding. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> and now that we can be one family, we have to watch out for each other. Arjun, how would you like to live in a big house after the wedding? Ah, uh, this is Arjun's house. He will live in this bigger house that he brought a bill for his mother. He and his wife could live here. They got more space here, and he could keep an eye on his mother. I didn't mean anything, Ram. Arjun could get any house that he want. But I promise Renu a house after the wedding. Maybe someday I'll build a big house whenever they want. We will live here for a while. I have to take care of mom. <laughs> live where you want. The important thing is, we's family now. Mm. You know, I never thought for one second that a day would come when me and you would shake hands. <laughs> Much less the giant family. <laughs> well, we're going to be doing more than that, Ram. Soon, we're going to be playing with the same grandchildren. <laughs> Leela, today is not your wedding. But I believe today Ram and I should celebrate this special relationship. <laughs> this, this is American rum. Them the scarlet whiskey. I ain't rum, Smith, but I think this rum better than Balwan rum. Leela, what do you think? We should find out. I ain't a rum, Smith, either, but I think I want to find out, too. Ah, John, don't just sit down there. Go bring two glasses. Mean you intended, father-in-law, got to drink the family business. Well, the only thing left for Seth now is he went in there. Let me celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Pandeji! Ram Ram, I check the patra. Gana by day. We can do the wedding any Sunday in June. <laughs> Cheers. Shadi kade wala shadi karo. Larka larki shadi karo. Shadi kade wala shadi. Dream.
this? Who is this person? Ram? Who is this person? Ram? Are you there? You know this by Lila? How can I know him if I can't see him? Who are you, boy? You forgot me already, ma. You? Who are you? Raj? Raj, my son! <laughs> <laughs> Raj, my son. Yes, yes, ma, it's me, Raj. Son. <laughs> my son, my son. Raj, my son came back to me. God sent my son back to me. <laughs> Every night I pray to God and ask Him, let me hold you once more. And God answer my prayers. Come, let me hold you. <laughs> Don't leave me, Hugo. <laughs> Ma, I'm not going to leave you and go anywhere. I'm here for a long time. Yes, Lila. You got both of your sons now, eh? Isn't this the happiest day of your life? Yes, Ram. Today is the happiest day of my life. One son came back. And her dad is getting married tomorrow. What else could a mother ask for? My heart is filled with happiness. My life is complete. If the Lord wants to take me now, I will go with a happy heart. My family is complete. Ram, you got a natural and now why? Hmm? Why don't you welcome her with a speech? This is the important event that you've been looking forward to. <laughs> Ma, remember the last time he made a speech, important speech, was when Arjun passed his exam. <laughs> yeah, his speech was so powerful, all the villagers buy him rum. <laughs> <laughs> and the speech maker was drunk for one week straight. <laughs> he went to bed drunk and wake up drunk. We even thought he had rum poisoning. <laughs> But Ram, you did good for the boy wedding. You promised not to drink, and you didn't drink. So, now, it's time for you to welcome your daughter-in-law with a speech. Marino girl, you're born and grew in this village and you should know me well enough. No, 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 I don't think you know me well enough. But I want to welcome you to our house. The house that my son Raj built for mother. We are simple and humble people. We never had much. But what we have much is love, and respect, and support for each other. And we will always have that. I promise you that in this house, you will always have that. So Madata, welcome to our family. Dad, with a speech like that, I think Arjun should let you break your fast and take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I promise Arjun that I won't drink on the wedding day and I keep up. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until after midnight, then I'm gonna take a stiff drink to celebrate. <laughs> Lila, now it's your turn to welcome Renu into the family. Renu, on this day of your marriage, my heart is filled with happiness. With you and Arjun in this house, and Raj by my side, I can't possibly be any happier. I only have one regret. I had promised my sons that on their wedding day, I was gonna give their bride a piece of jewelry that my mother gave to me on my wedding day. However, throughout the years, I had to part with the little jewelry that I had. So today, whatever little we give you, can't match with the tradition that I wanted to give you and my children. Ma, I have something for you. <coughs> what is this, Raj? What bangles are these, Raj? These are your bangles, Ma. I bought it from Money Lender. <laughs> Ram? Ram? Money Lender didn't get rid of the gold. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ma. He kept it very safe. He said he knew someday you would want to have them back. So he kept them very, very safe. Ram? Money Lender is a good man. 
Reno, your father is a very good man. <laughs> yes, he's a good smith. <laughs> Arjun, I'm glad you married Dato. Tonight after midnight, me and he got to take a good drink to celebrate. <laughs> I have no more regrets now. Reno, these two bangles are for you to upkeep the tradition. Raj, I have the other bangles for you. Now, how are you going to welcome your sister now? Renu, all happy marriages begins with a celebration. And we have been sitting here for too long. So come on, come on, let's celebrate. <laughs> your face my son Arjun hey, ma. Arjun ma. Raj I can't see your face Ram I'm not blind anymore Raj ma. look how you get handsome Arjun Arjun ma. live a happy life with Renu oh Renu Look how pretty you look on your wedding day. Ma! Oh. Lila. Lila. Lila, Lila, the Ma. ambulance Ma. coming. Ma. Just wait, Lila, the ambulance coming. Ra, today is a very happy day for me. I have all my family with me. Ra, what more could a mother ask for? You are a good father and husband. Ma. I am going now. Ma! Ma, ma don't leave us in ma. ma. Ma, please. Ma, the ambulance is coming, ma. Take care. Take care of my boys, Sami. 
<laughs> I am ready for Lord Krishna. My life is fulfilled. No. <laughs> the ashes in the ocean. But the pundit know. He ever dead? He ever taste death? Eh? He ever see God? Don't worry. Your mother's soul safe. You don't need a pundit or a priest to tell you that. And I have the water in the earth to meet the ocean someday. You see these cane fields? This is all the world, you know. She was born here in this plantation. This is all she know. She used to look at these cane fields. She used to look at these cane fields and see beauty. Remember? Remember how she used to look out and say that the canes look like waves in the ocean. And all I could see, all I could see was the bitterness of brown sugar. Her greatest glory in life were her two sons. And you were born on this plantation. Remember, remember how y'all used to go swimming and playing in the canals? And she would come looking for you in the evenings. This was her home. This is where, this is where she would want her ashes to be spread.
Goodbye, Lila. Goodbye. <laughs> Go home. Go home. And you keep a place for me. <laughs> keep a place. <laughs> keep a place for me, Leela. <laughs> keep a place. <laughs> keep a place for me. <laughs> you have given me the best years of my life The mother of my children and a sweet loving wife Showering your blessings so unselfishly You were the backbone of the family Goodbye my love, goodbye my love you are the one I'm thinking of Goodbye, my love, from heaven above You have left behind a legacy of love I was truly blessed the day I found you Never thought I'd ever find a love so true A pillar of strength Standing so proud One in a million Stood out in a crowd your wings spreading out as you fly I can't even hold back the tears as I cry only the good Lord he knows what is best and when to take an angel to his cradle to rest so goodbye my love goodbye my love you are the one I'm thinking Oh, goodbye, my love, wherever you are You will always be my shining star To a greener pasture you have now gone But your dreams and your legacy